Hi guys, my name is Morgan Flowers. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, you already know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not new here, we here with it, okay? Um, but I'm actually in the middle of washing my hair and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot to do an intro. So, I'm washing my hair at the moment. I am switching my hairstyle today. Um, I'm just going to get some braids because I'm tired of wearing my regular hair. Um, definitely much lower maintenance, so that's always what I'm aiming for, honestly. So, I'm going to continue washing my hair, conditioning, blow drying, the whole shebang, and then I'm going to get ready for my appointment. You know one thing that I hate? I hate the like good hair, bad hair thing. Like I hate when people be like, oh you got good hair. Like I, not saying that people say that to me, but I'm just saying that phrase in general. I really don't like it. You know, cause then it's like, what are we feeding our little girls? You know what I'm saying? Like little girls grow up, little black girls grow up feeling like they don't have good hair if their hair doesn't get curly. Cause nine times out of 10 when somebody says, oh you have good hair, they're talking about how your hair curls up. They're saying it because, oh, you are you look like you could be mixed, basically is what they're saying. You look like you could be mixed because your hair curls, unlike somebody with 4C hair. You know, like, I don't I don't like that saying. Like, I remember, I had this random memory when I was younger. I was in church, and I had just gotten my hair, like, straightened or, like, curled or something. And some girl was behind me, and I remember she tapped me on my shoulder, and she's like, oh, you, I like your hair, like, you got good hair. And I remember thinking, like, I didn't know if I should say thank you because it, it was not saying it was offensive, but I was just kind of like, I don't like that saying. Like, I remember from that moment on, I was like, what does that even mean? Like, my hair is just straight. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not even, it's nothing special. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, just a regular old black girl, okay? It's nothing special about my hair. Just because your hair doesn't do what the next girl hair does, like, don't mean you got good hair or bad hair. I hate that saying. So I was just I was just thinking about that because like you know little girls grow up thinking that they don't have good hair, good hair like what's good hair you know what I'm saying your hair good too boo like what and I'll make sure I grow up telling every little girl that I like your hair okay your hair is cute we we like that over here okay um I just was thinking about that as I was washing my hair I'm like you know what let me let me do a little chat with y'all because like how do y'all feel about that. I mean, I know some people probably don't care, you know, maybe they don't get offended or maybe they don't feel like it's that big of a deal, but that, I don't like that because I don't want nobody, no black girl should feel like they got bad hair or like they would never get that compliment because their hair is bad. No, no. Your hair do, shoot, 4C hair, you know how the shrinkage grow out and then their hair be so long. I be like, girl, that's good hair to me. Your hair be all healthy and thick. Like my hair is not thick at all. You know what I'm saying? My hair is not thick. It's very, it's very thin. Like when I get it straightened, it looks very thin. It doesn't grow out like in a thick way that somebody with 4C hair would do, you know? I'd be like, girl, you got good hair to me. What you mean? You got good hair to me. Um, <laughs> but I'm just putting in some conditioner for now. Don't look at the way I'm combing. I know I'm supposed to comb from the, from the roots, from the ends. <laughs> um, but... I'm always scared of the heat damage, you know, I don't like doing my own, I don't like doing but so much to my hair when it comes to heat and stuff, um, but I gotta blow dry it, <laughs> I don't have no option. I used to literally just let my hair air dry and then go to my appointments like that, like wash it the night before and then let my hair air dry and then go to my appointments like that. I was like, yo, they probably be mad at me, like it looked like it might be blown out, like clearly it's not like tangled, tangled, but... I wasn't blow drying my hair at one point. I was just like, y'all gonna take what I get y'all, what I give y'all. But then I noticed that some stylists they don't, they try to be, they try to comb your hair with the little thin tooth combs, and I'd be like, girl, you know that's breaking off my hair. Like you, you know, you know, you behind me breaking off my hair. But you being, you know, you trying to complete your mission. 
I'd be like, all right. I was just like, okay, let me just start blow drying my hair, like whatever. Um, but yeah, that's just my little rant for the day. <laughs> I, I thought I was gonna end up starting um, talking to you guys again after I got my hair done, but I was like, I'm actually, I'm thinking about something. Um, so I'm just gonna let this sit in my hair for a little bit. It's about 12:30 maybe. Um, so. I'm just going to let my hair, this conditioner kind of sit in my hair for a little bit. Um, my appointment isn't until, well I don't have to leave for my appointment until about 3.30, 3.45ish. Yeah, I probably do 3.30 because I don't want to be late and this is far. So, <laughs> I don't want to be late. Um, so, I got some time. I might let it sit in my hair for maybe like 30, 45 minutes and then I wash it out, blow dry it and get ready to get out of here. It is Tuesday. I'm actually getting ready to leave um, to do this video. As you can see, I got my hair done. Um, I decided to get the black instead of doing a little bit of color because I'm tired of the color. You know, I'm ready for my black to come back, okay? Um, I was telling my braider that I'm going to probably end up dyeing my hair back black because I'm really tired of the, the little bit of color that's in there. Um, but, you know, we're rocking with it. And uh, I'm going to head up. I'm going to get on the road. I'm actually going to show you guys the length of my hair because I got it extended. Um, I'm going to actually put my braiders page. If you're in the Philadelphia area, go to her. Um, I know they say Philly art, Philly hairstylist can be a little iffy, but she's not, okay? Don't play with my braider, okay? So um, I'm going to put her page on the screen and I'll show you guys my hair. So I'm just wearing this little like bodysuit. It's low-key given... It's... It's given skims low key only because of the material. It's very compressive, um, and I just have on these pair of jeans because it's not that it's not that hot out today. And I'm gonna take it down to show you guys the length. It's all the it's all the way down, all the way down there. <laughs> I know some of y'all like what? Why are you getting so long? Um, but I like them. You know, they're very lightweight as well. So, I'm going to put them back in a bun because I typically don't even wear my hair down. Um, yeah. I typically don't wear them down. But I could if I wanted to, but you know. But anyway, I'm going to head out so that I can, I won't be late for my video. So, see you guys shortly. guys it is tuesday later in the day i think i vlogged today i did right because i had such a good time i went to um i did my video shoot which was really nice um it's a black owned restaurant well black owned ice cream restaurant so cool so cute has all these different flavors um and it's in the philly area if you guys are interested or if you guys want to check it out i know she said someone did a tiktok for her and it kind of um went viral and stuff so that stuff like that is just everything <laughs> um so now i'm back home i'm kind of not feeling the best but i wanted to come in here and just show you guys what i'm up to um i wanted to do one of those little cash boxes <laughs> my birth my friend's birthday is coming up <clears throat> and it's just like um did, you ever see the boxes and then they'll just be pulling the money out and you just pull it out <laughs> it's only going to be a couple of dollars but um i thought it was i thought it would be kind of fun so you got to get a tissue box of course um i'm going to take all of the tissue out and probably just like put it in my house somewhere and i bought some um car stock because what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut the car stock out it's just like this gray palette it's like this these really dark neutral type of colors so i'm going to cut them out and put it on the sides so that it's not so colorful like i don't know i kind of want it more of a neutral color um i bought these little stickets because what i'm going to say i'm going to put the top one it's going to say like pull here or something yeah i want oh that's what i want to do i want to do pull me that's what i was going to do so i got these little stickers so that the top one you can just 
stick it and you just like pull it out of course i bought some tape ouch i do have a ruler um so that i could trace the size of the boxes and make my mind straight so i'm gonna do that now um and that's really gonna be the end of my night um i am gonna probably edit a website continue editing this website that i'm doing um i do have to reach out to a couple people about websites um and yeah that's about it i'm gonna show you guys how i do it of course i'm gonna show you guys how it all turns out hopefully it's cute you know i know i have to get the money you gotta like roll it up and of course tape all the money together so i think that'll be really cute really fun um like i said it's only a couple dollars but i thought it'll be cute you know just something um so yeah let's get started so i just wanted to say real fast i'm watching real housewives of potomac i'm on season four that's not a four this is a four <laughs> um but what's her name oh my gosh candace candy no it's not candy child this is not real Housewives of atlanta um oh my gosh what's her name uh, wait let me see yes. not karen I in my her hair. not the her. not robin yeah uh, her name is candace <laughs> i thought i was right but what i was going to say is if you guys watch the show her the whole wedding thing and go i'm a little behind i'm not on the i'm not on the new season yet but i'm on the season where she's having her wedding and her mom like i was just like what girl you want her to be responsible for your feelings for something that happened in your past you want to blame her girl girl go ahead okay that's not fair mom that's really not <laughs> Sky tops off the night. Good night. <laughs> hey guys um the last thing you guys saw me doing i think i was like lighting an incense and 
kind of cleaning up my um, kitchen and stuff. Um, that was earlier in the morning. It's now going on like three. Um, yeah, it's going on three. Um, and I'm actually going to head to the car wash. I need to get some gas. My car is... I'm tired of looking at it. The thing about white, it's like every bug I hit when I'm driving just splatters on my grill. Like, <laughs> I really should show y'all. It's all these, like, it just looks like dead bugs, like, all over. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so I was like, okay, every once in a while I have to make it, I have to add it to my budget to get a car wash. Um, I don't, I'm not going to do a detailing um, type of thing, but I am going to get the interior just kind of like brushed down, um, vacuumed a little bit, and then I think I'm going to try and kind of clean it myself. I did show you guys before one of my last vlogs when I was cleaning my carpet and I spilled my wine. I had bought the Zout, and I was like, you know what, maybe I should take the Zout and use it for my car. Like maybe the the like carpet in my car. I don't know. I'm gonna try it and see if it works. Um, after I get the car wash, because like I said, I'm not getting the detail clean, so they're not gonna like scrub my seats like I want to do. So I'm actually preparing to do that now. Um, like I said, it's about it's going on three o'clock. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for the day. I actually wanted to do something with my nails as well. Um, I was kind of aiming for that if it would focus. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I peel them off like. I, I after a while they just get peeled and then these I kind of wanted to keep on I only kept these on because I wanted to um I wanted to test something out um I did my grandma gave me some I think it's some acetone I think that's what they use to remove the gel I want to just see if it works um rather than peel the rest because you ever peel a gel off and it like your nails get really fragile I don't know if, yeah like my nails get really fragile and really like yeah i just want to see if it's going to work so i bought some cotton balls and stuff like that so that's going to be my thing when i get back and let's get on the road like y'all see all these like little critters like look at them Ew. so the main reason i was even trying to get my car detail washed and stuff is because of stuff like this can you guys see that at all y'all see it's green I, I don't know if you guys can tell if the camera's gonna pick it up or not but tyra if you're watching this i love you but she had her hair dye green and it got on my my seat i think tana was sitting in the back before she fell asleep like right back there and it's like makeup like on the side so like just little stuff um the car I think was just dirty in general because I did buy it off of CarMax so it had a previous owner um so I think the car probably need a little it probably need a detail clean anyway um but I was like you know what let me see what this Zout is about okay and on top of that my trunk like I had a box of um a box of, a box of dryer sheets in my trunk <laughs> I should have known um, the dry sheets was the box was going to bust. I guess the way I be driving, I don't know. Like, <laughs> uh, it's dry sheets all over my all in my trunk. Um, I think it's napkins in the trunk. I don't even know what's back there, but I'm gonna show you. Uh, this is I'm gonna show you guys. This is, was my inspiration for wanting to clean my car out. I did think about it like probably last week. I was like, you know what, Morgan, just clean your car out because it's a mess. And it's, it's a hot day today, so when I go back inside, I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to relax for the rest of the day, and that's what I'm looking forward to. So let me just knock this out, and let's go. So, is this extra <laughs> carpet powder? Like, I might as well give it a little razzle-dazzle, you know what I'm saying? But why would I do that if it's white on the, on the black? You know what, Morgan? I'm done with you, okay? It smells so good. Like, this is literally my favorite carpet powder. This clean linen one. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it... Oh. <gasps> Y'all know what I'm going to do. Oh, whoa. I'm going to put it up here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> it smells so good, though. This is literally my... This clean linen... Y'all can't even see me. It's this white van. It's reflecting the sun and it's not, you know, this white van is killing me behind me. But I'm gonna just put y'all aside and I'm gonna stop talking.
like ugh, so dirty um i don't know if this is like juice I, I don't i don't know wow oh my gosh my roof oh, my roof is so dirty oh why is it so dirty right there like i don't understand um but i also have these wipes so i'm gonna use this to like wipe this area um they pretty much wiped this when i got the car wash so i don't really need to do like my steering wheel and stuff but this can use a little touching up i'm not sure if i mentioned these before but these little um glade spaces girl i can smell this literally from my trunk like you have to put these in your car they're better than these as a matter of fact this can go in the trash that can go in the trash it's so much better than anything else it's better than those little trees that people hang like right here wait up here yeah these are the truth okay i'm keeping these in my car for sure and i usually just keep it here i was thinking i could put it like in the back somewhere but this is fine so this is what i mean <laughs> like ugh. Wait, because y'all know what's about to kill me, right? Oh, I just tried to pull one apart. <laughs> and it's not even just the sound. Like, I was thinking I could put my earphones in, my headphones on. Yes, it's that serious. It's not even just that I, I have to put my headphones in. I can, like, feel it. Like, <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Okay. So, you know, at the nail salon, they soak your nails um, in, like, the acetone, I think they do. We're we going to see if this works. I don't even know. My grandma gave me this one, this advanced nail polish remover. And I only literally have five nails with polish still on them. So, I don't need to do my whole hand. I kind of just want to see if it'll work. Something for the future, um, if I ever decide to do my nails. Well, I will do my nails again. I do have the supplies. I just... The first time I tried it, it just was a fail. Like, well, the first couple times, it was a fail. So I never came back to it to do it again. But I want to see if this method works to, to remove the polish. Because I do get to the point where I'm chipping at it and then I, like, need to get my nails done. So um, let's see if this works. Jeremy Avalon. Saturday um I am actually I didn't finish my nails yesterday so I'm actually about to do that now um I thought they looked pretty they, let me just hide myself they didn't look too bad I kind of tried to get the cuticle and stuff like that I'm not a nail tech this is not a tutorial okay that wasn't a tutorial um I was just trying to show you guys I guess how I think it should be done um just pushing back the cuticle I know you guys probably saw me doing that and stuff like that so I'm just going to try and do something um, different just in an effort to save more money like you know I was thinking like being a girl child okay run through so much it's so many things that we have a subscription to like every month every well not every month but every couple of weeks you gotta get your nails done you gotta get your lashes done 
hair done, eyebrows done. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's so many things that we, like, have a subscription to, you know? Like, you gotta go back and do it, you know? So, um... I'm like, you know what, let me see if, I mean, I bought this little LED lamp um, just to try and do my nails on my own, at least at some point. So, I'm going to give that a try again. Like I said, I did try it before, and it didn't work out well. Like, the nail kept peeling. I'm not sure if I'm curing wrong. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong, but sometimes the nails will stay off, and then other times the whole nail will just peel off. And I'm just like, what did I do wrong? Like The whole gel will peel off. So, I'm like, what's going on? What's the trick? Okay. Um, so I'm just going to try it again. Um, I wanted to take a shower first so that I wouldn't risk getting like the water under my nails. But should I do it that way, y'all? Oh, my gosh. I don't feel like taking a shower right now. I was trying to push it and wait. I don't like, I like to get ready in one, you know, together. You know, like I, I like to get ready. Oh, guys, I'm going out to dinner. <laughs> it's my friend's birthday i'm going out to dinner so i was trying to take a shower makeup hair whatever get dressed leave like i like to just lump it together i don't want to take a shower and just chill la 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 like i feel like i'm just <laughs> collecting dust or something like i want to just keep everything in order like i don't know so i was trying not to do it that way but for the sake of my nails i guess i should just take a shower now um, I'm also in the moment I'm trying to create a TikTok. <laughs> so um, I'm not sure if some of you guys have found me from TikTok. Shout out to you guys. I did see that some people found me from my TikTok. Hey y'all. Uh, <laughs> so um, I am I am in the process of making a TikTok. So that's going to be simultaneously. And um, I guess I'll tune back in. I guess I'll take a shower now so I can sit around in my cleanliness I don't know. I don't know what it is about it. I guess it's just a, it's a, it's a habit. You know, it's just like I like to do things how I like to do them. But um, I guess I'll get to this after. Um, I'll show you guys just kind of what I do. I guess. Never mind. I'm not showing you guys what I do because, like I said, this is not a tutorial. I'm not. Sure. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing it right. I'm still trying to get the hang of it myself. So I'm not trying to show you guys and then be like, yeah, like this is how I do it. Y'all try to do it that way and it be wrong. Like I don't know. So, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to hop in the shower and then I'll be back. Um, I'll probably just end up putting this robe back on just so that I'm not sitting around in my clothes. That's one thing, too. I don't like sitting around in my clothes. Like, I don't like doing that. So, yeah, I'll see, I'll see you guys after my shower. it is sunday the 8th um and it's the last day of the week i did have to work this morning um which went pretty smoothly i suppose um i just came home from work and i was just chilling um i started while well, i was trying to finish up this website that i've been working on um and i'm gonna try to finish that by tomorrow um and i'm just gonna wrap up the night i'm just gonna chill i'm probably gonna eat dinner um it's about eight o'clock so I'm just going to eat dinner and then head to bed. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you made it to the end, shout out to you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.